the next first family of the United States of America. What a difference one week makes. The man with the dream and the audacity achieved both and rewrote the history books in a way no historian would ever have dared to write. The man with Kenyan roots defied just about every skeptic, every critic, every naysayer who said it couldn't be done. If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power of our democracy, tonight is your answer. But while we all pause to take a collected breath and savor this monumental achievement, let us at the same time sit back and look at how this son of the soil dreamed the improbable dream and achieved the impossible. For that, we need to take a quick trip down memory lane. Back in 1963, the year Kenya attained independence, young Mwai Kibaki was 31 years old and had just been elected member of parliament for Bahati. At the same time, young Raila Odinga was just reaching voting age and was soon to head to what was then East Germany to study engineering. Thousands of miles away, Barack Obama was just two years old living in Hawaii with his single mother after his Kenyan father abandoned the family for further studies before he would return home and start a new family. Barack would not see his father again until he was 10 years old. The rest, as they say, is history. Fast forward to 2008. Former Bahati MP Mwai Kibaki is 76 years old the country's third president since independence. He's also Kenya's longest serving politician and undoubtedly the most powerful man in Kenya. Raila Odinga is 63, the country's second prime minister since independence and leader of the largest political party. He also gets the title of second most powerful man in Kenya. Meanwhile, the son of the Kenyan father and American mother, turned 47 in August, has managed to defy and destroy just about every racial, political and economic stereotype in America and has gone on to become the most powerful man on the planet. Now, if time is kind to all three men, Kibaki will be 80 when his term finally expires in 2012. Raila, meanwhile, could very well go on to become Kenya's fourth president in 2012 and presumably serve two terms, which means, theoretically, when his term is up in 2022, he'll be 77 years old. If Barack Obama gets re-elected in 2012 and serves another four years, he'll be 55 years old when he finally leaves the White House in 2016. So, what does all this mean? Well, for one thing, it seems our leaders spend their entire lives trying to get to the very top and then spend even more time trying to stay at the very top. And by the time they leave or are forced out of office, no one really remembers what legacy they left behind. By the time Barack Obama leaves office, his legacy will no doubt follow him and his children and his children's children for generations to come. The bottom line, before we all rush to the U.S. Embassy for visas and declare ourselves America's 51st state, let's pause to remember that at the end of the day, we get what we deserve. 
and we only have ourselves to blame for all our shortcomings. It seems like it's going to be a while in Kenya when we can proudly say, cometh the moment, cometh the man. Jeff Koinangi, Eyewitness News.